freshman year, I was a starter for varsity. Sophia Leitner was the kind of kid that makes a parent since. proud. She got good grades, she played varsity basketball, very popular. So are you high in this picture? Probably, yeah. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Her whole personality, everything changed. It started with a new boyfriend. He like gave it to me and like told me that I should try. Her parents tried to keep them apart. She became so angry and violent and... There's a hole right behind there where I need a hole in the wall because yeah. they wouldn't let me leave. Soon, heroin controlled them all. Every waking minute, every hour, every second. There were many near misses, trips to Milwaukee's inner city. They pulled their car up, held their gun to both of our faces and said, you better give me all that you have. Overdoses. I've had like a couple people overdose in my car and I wanted to go to the hospital and they wouldn't do it because they were so scared. Breaking news, a high-speed police chase tears through two counties. But none as dramatic as the high-speed chase that dominated news for days. Criminal charges are filed against... Her boyfriend went to prison. She did 10 days in juvenile detention and kept using. So we just decided that she needed to stay and then when... Um, when she got out, she was clean, because you have to be 100% clean in order to have the Vivitrol shot. A social worker told the family about Vivitrol, a monthly injection that kills the craving for heroin. She's been on it for seven months. They're hopeful, but not naive. They're still a long road. Long and emotional, but they want to warn other parents. It's athletes, it's nerds, it's my child, it's your child, it's all the kids in the area. I was that junkie, but now everyone else is doing the same. Get away from those people and because they don't care. They, they'll leave you. I've had friends who got left in cars to die. Leitner graduates from Kewaskum High School in May. She missed prom because she was in juvenile detention. And in her graduation pictures... I don't want this walkie-talkie being in my pictures. She was wearing an electronic ankle bracelet, but the photographer fixed that. Photoshopped out the, the ankle bracelet. Mm -hmm. But she knows it will be harder to erase the emotional reminders of her user's life. No, it's not worth it at all. Sophia Leitner still has pending court cases and could be in jail for her high school graduation, but she plans to go on to college to study to be an x-ray technician. In the newsroom, Colleen Henry, WISN, 12